Hello, my name is Judah Andor, and in this tutorial, I want to walk you through the student transcript portal for the SHS one. Now, before you start, make sure you open your browser. It can be any browser you have on your machine. It can be Firefox, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, or any other browser you have on your machine. So, once the browser is opened, make sure you type the web address of the STP Portal in the address bar, as you can see here, that's stpshs.yec.gh.org, and then you hit enter on the keyboard or go, and then it will open the login interface for you. So, here you'll be asked to enter your username and the password, and use the email that you sent to the IT coordinator to set your account for you, and then the password. And then click on login. If in case you forget your password, you can use the forget password you see here button to set a new password. But before you do that, make sure you enter the email here and then you click on forgot password. You'll be asked to enter a new password and then confirm it. Once you do this, you click on submit. Now you come back to the login interface again. You type in your email address you see here. And then that new password that we just set also here and then click on login now once we're able to log in it will take you to this interface this is where you can use to capture your students results or your assessment so you use the capture assessment button you see here click on it and then you need to fill this buttons here or you need to fill this spaces here you have the year so click on the choose the year that you want to record assessment and then semester first semester when you come to the assessment mode you have six assessments you need to record for a semester you have the individual class assessment you have the midterm practical portfolio or performance assessment you also have group projects research and case study or case study you also have individual projects or research or case study and then we have what supervised individual terminal so these are the six assessments you need to record within a semester so assuming i want to record individual class assessment i'll select this one and then over here you see the classes assigned to you or the class that you teach in the school do assign the classes in your name and in case you don't you don't see any of your classes here you can contact your IT coordinator or whoever is in charge of the student transcript portal in your school to assign your classes for you. So I will choose, let's say I want to record 1A1 individual class assessment. So I will choose 1A1. And then when you come here, you see the various subjects you have been teaching in the school. So in case you don't see any of the subjects you teach here, you can as well contact your IT coordinator or whoever is in charge of the transcript portal in your school, then the classes will be assigned to you. Okay, so, and then you type the word score. Let's say I want to score this over 100. And I think that's the best thing you should do. You should make it over 100. So, there's two ways you can use to assess or enter the assessment. Either by doing it offline or online. So if you want to do it offline, so for this video, I want to do, show you the offline version. And then I'll do another video and then show you how to do the online version. So you come here and then download, click on the download student data. It will download the class list in Excel form for you. So I'll click on this button and then it's asking you to save your data or Excel. So I want to save it in my document folder. When you get to make sure you check where you are saving the file because we are going to upload it when you finish recording it good so i want to change this name to let's say 1a1 because i'm recording for 1a1 in order not to i mean confuse you when you add other classes so 1a1 underscore individual assessment individual individual Assessments. Okay. 
Alright, so I'll click on save. Now I'll go to the file and open it. I'll open it and then you see this file that's, that is just downloaded. So you have the names of the students in the class here with all these columns showing. So the only column you are going to work on it is the score and then the world score. So because I made my world score 100 in the system, I'll put 100 here and then filled all these parts 100 because they are going to you are going to score all of them over 100. And then this is where you enter the actual score the students had for the individual assessment. So if you if you mark your I mean, assessment over 10, you need to make it times 10 so that you get the 100. So in this case, with your script in your hand or yes, with your script, you just enter the individual score of the student. So Abdul Aziz Safia too, she had 76. And then Abakan Blessing. So I'm going to pause this video and then fill it. When I'm done, I'm going to show you how you can upload it. So that is it. So I will come blessing. Okay, so I'm done. So when you, when you finish, make sure you save your file. You save the file, and then you close it. Now you go back to the system again. Now it is time for you to upload the file that you just I mean filled. So how do you upload it? You, where you have the choose file, click on it. Go to the location where you save your file. So in my case, I save my file in my documents folder. So I'll click on documents and there's the file name 1A1 underscore individual assessment. So I'll select it and click on open. So you see it here. And then when you upload it, you click on upload box scores. Upload box scores. So click on this button to upload it. So you can see a message validation passed. File is ready to upload. Validation path file is what's ready to upload. So when the file is uploaded, you come to the button, just scroll down. Yes, so you can see imported successfully. Imported successfully. Now, if you see this message, just scroll down and then click on this refresh so that the names will appear on the system for you. So click on refresh. Now, so this is the scores you just entered. These are the scores you just entered. If in case you made a mistake in one of the scores and want to up, uh, update it, you can equally do it here. So in case, let's say, this particular person, Abdul Aziz Safiye to had, let's say, 80, and then you gave what, 76, you can change the score here and put 80 here. And I click on the refresh again. Automatically, the score was update itself to Eight. So this is the same person, Abdul Aziz Safiye too. Now he's having what eighty max. So thank you very much for I mean watching this tutorial, and I I believe this tutorial is going to guide you and whatever problem that you have. I mean, at the end of the day, you can rectify it. Thank you very much. And then you can equally download a copy and then save it keep it for future reference and then when you think you are done with everything and you don't have any changes to do on the system on the scores again you can click on submit complete and then i think if you click on this submit complete there's no way you can do additional changes again thank you very much my name is jude and then watch my next video for how to i mean 
record your assessment online and then you can choose between the two whichever i mean step you think you want to use it then use it thank you very much once again bye bye